Hi guys, real quick, I want to share with you this hot glue gun that I received from Movic. They are on Amazon. It is wireless and rechargeable. You're not worrying about any cords. It heats up really quick. When it's ready to go, that light will turn green. No cords, hardly any drip, less mess, and you're not wasting glue. So right now I'm making my flamingo bow for my everyday wreath because it's time to get ready for summer decor. And uh, it's really easy to use. It came fully charged because when I went to go charge it in like five minutes, the charging uh, light indicated that it was fully charged. And it's so easy, again, no dripping, no cords cord free you can craft anywhere if you want to craft outside if you want to go to the park and do some crafting if you have an area that you would like to craft in and you don't have any outlets sometimes it, it that happens um really cute don't mind me this is my little way of making a bow guys you got to fake it till you make it um i do loops different size loops actually I never did it this way before, but you know what? We're going to try something new. New glue gun, new new method. I'm just going with it. Um, but this is just really the easiest way that I can make a bow. I've watched several tutorials and I just never could get it right. But I like how it came out. I really like how it came out and I really, really like this glue gun. I'll put the link to purchase in the description box if you were interested in a wireless cord free rechargeable glue gun again takes type c charger it comes with that it comes with extra glue sticks it comes with popsicle sticks it's the bomb.com guys and i'm not just saying that i really really like it no dripping um and it heated up really really quick and voila we have a bow hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is my new truck day arrivals haul. It's not a big haul. I also have some items that I hauled when I went to go see my mom in New Bern, North Carolina. Now, I was going to post the quick walkthrough that I did along with that, but guys, I don't know. If you live in New Bern, how do y'all survive? I mean, I went to three locations, the one on Martin Luther King Boulevard, the one, the new one that opened up, um, like, I think it used to be a former Rite Aid. Um, I went to the one on the same block as the hospital. And it, I'm happy with what I got. Like, each store, I found one thing that I wanted. Out of all, you know, I just, the stores were not that great. So, I'm not going to post that walkthrough. And, uh, yeah, but let's get into what I hold locally. I did not get a lot, but... I'm happy with what I found. I did find, like I said, what I wanted. Um, I did pick up another pack of these Home Bright sheets because originally when I found these in Raleigh, I hauled four packs. Well, when I seen my mother, I was like, just give her one. And like I said, when I like something, but I didn't try them yet, but sometimes, you know, they weren't local yet. So I just was holding on, but I said, let me give her a pack, you know. I'll find it and uh, her stores one of her stores actually did have them so I gave her a pack but on the way home I didn't bother stopping there because we were going to the movie so I had an hour drive so I had to be back but they're now in all of the local Greenville locations I do like them I shared that with you guys they smell really great my clothes smelled great but due to the you know scent beads and um the insuino fabric softener my laundry always smells good and i use tide or that aldi game dupe i alternate or tide pods it's like whatever i grab first is what i use but my clothes came clean and i did have a stain on one of my pants and the stain was gone it's saying that they lift stains mess free biodegradable the only thing it dissolves in all water temps so that's good to know also because some people wash in cold um, because of my scrubs and the environment I work in, taking care of sick people, I always wash in hot. Um, but, yeah. The only thing, like I said, because on the front, it could be misleading because it says 15 sheets, one per load. But it tells you the breakdown like I shared with you on the back. If you have a small to medium load, one sheet, a large load, which is usually what I wash, you'll use two sheets. But... These would be great to travel with, guys, especially if you're renting an Airbnb and you have access to laundry. 
that would be great to just throw in your suitcase. So I did pick up one more pack. So now I'm back to my four packs and I'll see. I'm still using my liquid laundry detergent, but that's also an option. Do not be afraid to take things back. On this trip, I took back, I forgot what I said, I told y'all I was gonna take back last time, but it went back, okay? And I have more stuff to go back. Call me queen take back, okay? Dollar Tree queen, queen take back, because I'm no longer gonna keep or throw away things that I'm not satisfied with. Oh, I took back those jot storage bins, and I took back something else, a cosmetic, oh, the Ioni uh, cream blushes that I hold and I did not use, did not like them. Um. Yeah, and with my returns, I got two packs of plates, okay? I already put one in the kitchen. I got another of the Eco Tools Makeup Brush Cleaner. Now, no, I, I did not try these yet. I do need to clean my brushes. Um, but I've heard nothing but good things about this. And to be a travel pack, you're getting 3.0 fluid ounces. This is a hefty pouch, so I will let you guys know. But I'm pretty confident that I'm going to like this. So while it was still around, I did grab it. So two packs of plates, the Eco Tools, and cups. I always go use cups. I always use paper plates. Don't be afraid to take things back, guys, because there's always something you can use at Dollar Tree. Napkins, paper towels. I'm just looking around for bugs, y'all, because it's bug season. Um, it's always something you can use. So don't be afraid to take things back. I used to just, be, you know, you, you're embarrassed or, you know, you have that thought in your head, well, it was only a dollar. What did you expect? You expect decent quality and you guys see that I posted that recall y'all know the Instagram police uh, y'all know y'all know the Instagram police love that one especially the ones who say oh I would never put nothing on my skin that cost a dollar 25 it is what it is personally I hauled that lotion once I think a long time ago I think it was that one I really wasn't a fan with it but I'm very particular about my lotions guys I'm very particular about my lotions I'm uh, uh, the lotion got to be just right. So, um, just because I didn't like it, a lot of people, a lot of people commented, wow, I just hauled four. Oh, I love that stuff. I was looking for more. So, I don't know what's going on. I posted it as a short. It's a recall on that oatmeal kissable uh, lotion. And it is, that's just it. And I only seen the recall in one store. And you guys know I'm all over the place. Only one store had the recall posted. That was my daily Dollar Tree which is surprising because they're usually the last to know about anything. I'm usually telling them things. So, uh, just, we just have to be careful. And after what happened to me with that, what, uh, what kind of spread was that? That fig spread. I now really don't want to use that ham glaze. I, it's just not worth it for me. So I'm rethinking my food purchases at Dollar Tree because these, those were not expired. And somebody said, well, how do you know it was the fig spread? When you know, you know, um, that was like one of the last things I ate and not to be graphic when you're having GI issues you kind of see what comes out so uh, let's just keep it at that I know it was that fig spread and the expiration date was good so I'm kind of rethinking my food I'd rather pay the little bit extra if Walmart has it for $1.75 $1.99 two and change I'd rather health is wealth because I was sick for a week that was the longest I ever had a uh, uh, food poisoning. I five day it, and it was hell. It was hell. So I kind of am rethinking my purchases as well. Um, we want to save money, but we also want to be healthy. You know. Let's move on. So I just hold one. I mean, these are not big guys, but deodorant. The price of deodorant, especially brand name deodorant, has went up. So this is the Suave Fresh Vibes Berry Bliss deodorant formulated without aluminum 48 hour protection derm tested so i hold one summertime we're gonna need nobody wants to be musty i did try this flex um i didn't try it yet i did purchase this flex dry shampoo i had seen it originally on the road and then it was locally this is fresh coconut scent and invigorating invigorating fresh coconut scent so i'm gonna try it because like i said i put a lot of oils and gel in my hair in between washing, if it can help remove some of that buildup, why not? I did get the Freeman, and I might like that better. That was the first time I tried dry shampoo, so I really don't have a comparison to it. Um, I picked up, and I'm not a fan of these guys, but I need them. Um, these are the Pure Cotton Rounds from Assured. 
I did find some really nice ones from Dollar General down the one dollar aisle and they, I have not seen them since so I picked them up because I needed them um, I did pick up another one because I'm running low this all-purpose peppermint sage cleaner um, I do like this for my kitchen countertops um, with plant derived ingredients danger causes serious eye damage <laughs> so don't don't spray it near your eyes or anybody else's eyes okay so I did pick another one up and I don't mind sitting this out of my cat counter you know it's nice and sleek speaking of my counter you guys know I reviewed that Medea air fryer the other week I absolutely love it but I spy had bought me the ninja dual basket air fryer for Christmas which I have to tell you if I didn't tell you I was kind of pissed don't buy me no home appliances for Christmas that everybody's going to be using when I say everybody you using it Tony Jr. when he was here he's gone he was using it that's supposed to be a gift for me unless I asked you you know because I was working with a nurse in New York she asked her husband for the ninja foodie and that was about $300 I think when it came out and that's what she wanted it was gonna make her home life easier cooking easier but I got over it quickly guys I didn't want to seem ungrateful I just was not expecting kitchen appliances for Christmas you know nothing nothing for chores okay to me a gift is pleasure a bag a new bag you know a tech device a new phone but he always gives great gifts I got over it fairly, fairly quickly and I'm very glad he bought it because he introduced me to ninja products that I personally would not have spent the money but that Medea one of them has to go they both can't stay on my counter because they are big machines I made some barbecue chicken in the air fryer. It's hot, y'all. He wanted barbecue chicken for dinner last night. I had tacos. I, I did not want chicken. Look at the picture of this chicken. Okay? Barbecue chicken in the air fryer. Thighs and drumsticks. That top drawer holds a lot of food. I'm the type of person, I like to cook indoors and then bring it out. I'm not really confident on the grill. I don't want to be standing over a hot grill. Um, I always, my preference was, and I always say my indoor barbecues, you can cook everything you cook on a grill inside and you can bring it outside and enjoy the fresh air. That's just me. But you guys, if you have not checked into that air fry and I'm not telling you, I'm not going to get commission whether you buy it or not, but it will make your cooking life easier. It'll keep your home cool in the summertime. And I have not used the liners with it yet only because I really feel like the purpose of the air fry is for air to circulate in top and bottom that's why it has the food with the grays that's just my opinion I could be wrong um it cleans really easy so guys check that out check it out make your life easier all right this made it locally I found it in Smithfields only found I got the last one on the shelf and I will tell you some of the caps with them you got to watch okay because in one location this came to two Greenville locations Charles Boulevard got it and also um, Winterville got it I have not seen it anywhere else yet but the other stores are very slow at putting out new stuff so who knows it could be there now I didn't go to Dollar Tree at all yesterday I went Dollar General hopping so stay tuned I have a really fun video coming up for you tomorrow um I think it's fun um, so yeah, the Amber Nights, and again, this was a debate, don't use it, it gives you yeast infections. I have been using it, and I absolutely love it. So I hauled the one in Smithfield, and then I picked up five more locally. I got some from Winterville, some from Charles Boulevard, but be careful of the caps, because I, you know, Charles Boulevard, it was sitting there in the box, and when I went to go, you know, help myself, uh, one of them had, like, exploded, and I have noticed when I was picking mine off the shelf, uh, some of the caps were a little fugazi. I don't know if that's why they're at Dollar Tree, but this is a five-in-one, removes odor-causing bacteria, pH balanced, GYN tested, free from dyeing parabens. I like this, okay? So I did haul, I have a supply. Now, I originally seen this in Smithfield, North Carolina, the day I went. They did not have pink. They had all the other colors. And I said to the cashier, but she had a long line. She just probably wanted me out of her face. I said to her, does it keep your drinks cold? And I think she just told me yes, but it wasn't a confident yes. It was just like, yeah, lady, keep it pushing. You know, I got this long line and you're asking me questions. And I was like, I don't need it, which I don't, guys, because I hold this from Walmart. This is the Ozark Trail brand, okay? I just love the ombre color. 
I never use that one from five below. I don't have a lot of confidence in that. My sister's moving down. I'm going to ask her if she wants it. If not, I'm going to donate it. But anyway, this keeps my drinks cold over 24 hours. Okay? And with minimal ice. Because I have a countertop ice machine. I can't be bothered with filling ice trays. So usually when I'm making this for work, by the time I get to the ice machine, it's not that much ice left because I spy could have been there or whatever. So just filling it up with ice to that level and then filling it with my beverage keeps your drink ice cold $14.97 at Walmart they have other colors but I love the pink the blue I love this peach ombre effect and those things that I hold from uh, Target that you know the snack things that go inside of this I have a peach one so you know it's gonna match your girl gotta match you know your girl gotta match I'm matchy matchy but I love this, guys. $14.97. If you don't care about the name, because I don't know Stanley. Stanley don't give a damn about the Dollar Tree Queen in Greenville, North Carolina. He don't even know who I am. I'm just making him richer. I did get sucked into buying one at Target. The manager stopped me as I was walking in. He said, we're having a new release. And I just bought it out of, I don't know, I just was pressured. But it just didn't sit right with me. Paying $50 for a cup, I can, but it just didn't sit right with me. And these get great reviews. I already heard the reviews before that incident, okay? So I like it so much. I spy one at one. I got him a black one, and he loves it too. It keeps your drinks cold, guys. $14.97 at Walmart. There's different colors if you don't like this ombre one. They have black, white, pink, lavender. I don't know if they have green, but Ozark Trail is the brand get you one if you just want to be cool like yesterday when I was Dollar Tree Dollar General hopping I said why am I gonna pay five dollars for a drink in the street right to go through the drive-thru and get a drink I have this I filled this bad boy up I made my skinny lemon sweet tea and I was cool all day cold beverage as I was hopping in that hot heat going to different stores get you one if you're all about the cold drink life I'm sorry let's get back to it now now, I don't know if this is going to be the same. She told me yes, but like I told you, I explained to you her circumstance. She had a line all the way down yonder, and it just was like, yeah. So, I'm going to try it. This would be great for, you know, instead of lugging that on a day I'm going to be shopping, you know, I can make me an iced coffee to go. Like, I haven't had my coffee yet, so I need to have my coffee. I just wanted to get my patio decorations. You see, I put my pillows out. Um, I put up that flamingo banner. I love it. I did the bow. I have my uh, palm leaf uh, rug that I got from Ross. Um, I got my shade out. So what do I have to do? Um, I have to put the pink flowers in my wreath. I did haul some beautiful pink flowers, but I just was over it at that point. But anyway, if you tried this, let us know in the comment. I'm going to try it today. I'm going to wash it and try it. I thought it was just too cute to leave behind. I mean, not every time do you have to take this, but this will be coming with me to the pool, um, the beach, work. This will be coming in the Dollar Tree straw covers fit it now the only thing that you might not like is this silicone straw i did order some replacement straws on amazon but they were trash and i need to take those back they're going back to amazon they were trash they were poorly made jagged at the edges pieces of plastic hanging it's all right i will pay full price and get me some replacement straws but i did haul this you guys know i showed you um, on TikTok, I love TikTok. I hope they don't get rid of it because it's so informative, guys. I love the makeup tutorials. I love product reviews. I love the home decor videos. I love the cooking videos, crafting videos. It's so informative. It's not, you know, I think it's, I love it. And I love TikTok shop. But somebody holds one of these display boxes. They didn't haul it. They asked the manager or whoever, can they have it? They gave it to them. And um, I have been needing storage, guys. I have been needing storage. So I'm going to, I kept it outside though, because I don't want any creepy callers. It is cardboard, you understand. Um, you can take it apart and open it up if you want to. Um, you know, it does come apart, whatever. But um, I'm going to be spray painting it black. And these, I was hoping would pop out easily. If I can get these popped out, I'm going to spray paint these gold. It's going to serve its purpose. Um, 
it's going to serve its purpose. I'm not worried about it. You can keep the box as is. I think the display is really cute. I don't really have to do anything to it, but you know your girl. And I got this stencil that says shine bright because I was thinking of painting the box gold. I mean black. These pieces gold and do the shine bright, shine bright and uh do that in gold and add glitter so it, it's like sparkling you know your girl is extra you just know your girl is extra I'm just <laughs> and i don't even know where i'm gonna put it either on the inside of my closet or i might put it somewhere in my glam area but i'm i have so many unopened uh cosmetics that i'm going to use like i love this so you know if i see this which i'll be showing you in a second you guys know I love my Ioni blush. Okay, I have multiples of these items and they take up space. I am eventually gonna use them. And unfortunately, because we just don't know the future, uh, is this item gonna go out of stock? Are we never gonna find it again? When I like something, I seem to, you know, wanna hold on to it, okay? So, um, and I, I wear makeup, I would say seven days a week. Um, Sometimes on my days off, I'm not, I'm not going away. I don't give a damn. I don't. But the majority of the time, I do love I love makeup. So um, I have a lot of cosmetic overflow. I have lash glue. I have lashes. So this display will help store some of that overflow and keep it neat, organized, and easy to grab. So the plan is to paint the box black, do the stencil of the shine bright in gold. That is the plan, okay? And I will share when it's completed. I was hoping to have it done before this video, but you know, you know. So speaking of which, now that's everything from my local truck finds that I picked out, guys. When I went to New Bern, like I told you guys, I found something that I have been looking for at each location. Like each location had something that I wanted. I found this in Raleigh months ago. I hold, I think maybe two, maybe three, I can't remember. Um, as I go through whole bags, I'll find it. <laughs> um, but I, I already was using one. I love it. This is a blurring um, pressed powder. It's translucent, has hyaluronic acid, it has vitamin C, um, and the blurring helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and pores. I absolutely love this stuff. It never, to this day, made it to any of my local stores the raleigh location i found it at is an hour and change away and the last time i was there i didn't even see it there so i was so happy i found this at the first stop at the second stop i found my love i'm wearing it to, i just love this blush this orange glow blush orange i'm into orange blushes um they had two one box was ripped and the product was turned upside down so that meant somebody tampered with it why open it you had no reason to open it because you can see you can see the color so what was your point so i wasn't going to take that chance because you don't know people are crazy if they did something to it put something in it i don't know i didn't want to put it on and then my face falls off you understand so i'm so sad but i only bought this one that was my next stop I have been looking for this cookbook since I seen Thrifty Tiffany haul it. Okay, I'm not on Facebook like I used to be, but when I was, I used to watch their shorts. Before shorts was a short, they had short videos on, um, or you know, short videos, reels, whatever you call it, on Facebook doing cooking, fun cooking. This is the Tasty Cookbook. Look at the glitter side. I love this cookbook. I have been looking for it since she holds it. They only had one because I wanted to get one for you guys to share in a giveaway. High drama, low maintenance, tasty over the top. When she opened it up, it just has fun food, guys. Junk food, snack food, high drama, low maintenance. They have over the top morning, out to lunch, sweet dreams, drink up, nibble them bit. So they even have drink mixes pumpkin spice latte rolls cheese it quickie looks like what a spinach quick so that looks like broccoli triple decker breakfast sandwich that looks good with the avocado yeah so i thought it would be fun you know i pass up on a lot of the cookbooks guys but this one i wanted this one I really, really wanted. Look at this. 
chili pineapple whip. Look at that. So yeah, I wanted this. I'm still on the hunt, guys, because if I can find one for you, I will. And that's all I found in Newburn. The press powder, the blush I like, and that cookbook. It was just like so dry, so dry. And on my local truck finds, I forgot to show you this. I hauled three of these. Two of them, two of them are already filled to capacity. And I think I'm gonna get two more. They stack really good in my closet and they're crystal clear where you can see what's inside. They did have a bigger five gallon one for five, but it was kind of opaque. I wanna see what's inside this box, okay? So I have two filled and I wanna get two more. Trust me, I could fill all of these and I wanna put like all nail stuff in one, all lash, you know, face makeup in one. Um, that would include the Revlon foundations that I hold the um that setting spray that just came out that i love that i'm wearing today as well what is that spray from um the real technique setting spray okay and you see how clear it is i can see what i have inside so it's no you know where is it and stuff like that so I'm gonna get two more, $3 a piece. I think that's a good price. And this way I could put away the cosmetic overflow and get more organized. That is the quest. That is something that I have been working on seems like forever. But this is it guys. I hope you liked this haul. I absolutely love that glue gun. Check them out, it's on Amazon. That magnet is strong as hell. You don't have to worry about the glue gun falling over. You can craft anywhere. You can craft at the park. You can craft outside. You can craft in places that normally you might not be able to because you need an electric outlet. Um, you know, it just frees you up and it comes with so much. So many glue gun, I mean glue sticks, the clear ones, the glitter ones, the popsicle sticks, the case to carry it in. And it's not a big case. Just it's organized crafting and I love it that's my second time working with them this is the new improved version of that glue gun and as you can see I use the hot glue method for uh, my flamingo bow I just have to add my flowers to uh, the bow and I'm um, to the wreath uh, that's my everyday wreath where all I have to do is change the bow change the flowers for the season um, just so I'm not making a wreath or I need a wreath for every season. You know what I mean? For 4th of July, I could make a red, white, and blue bow. You know what I mean? But I'm going to be keeping that up for the summer. I love the banner. I love the pillow covers from Timo. Those are outdoor pillow covers. Um, just to spruce up the patio and get it ready for summer. But thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.